than stocks heaped like tinder. And one with a slow match, still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted, I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. So worry about your own armaments when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaw as well. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition. Trim off the wind, my boys! Ease her! Bearing hard for cliffs, Captain!
Ahoy, Captain. Find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Here. Yeah. Taken from the holes, just as you said. A little more than a blowpipe. But it'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You'll find no civilization in Nassau. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. Some wrecked cargo adrift here, sir. Captain Queer Nubs, tell me I'm under arrest. Tell me! Damn your breads. Fly away, boy -o. back to your master. Aye, we was privateers together before the wars ended. I'll see you ashore. By God, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Why can't we? Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Ade saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. But use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up before night back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. Right. I'll see who I can muster. Cheers, Addy. They 
Maybe we save the king some coin and simply cut you down, maggot. I may pair roof round the rim. Pull me from the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks you hearty. Talking to sense, lads, you're all mad as sea dogs in a bloodbath. <sighs> Pull me from the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks you hearty. Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? 
It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. You see here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoise is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy. Can we? Not a bad looking tinder box you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to say it all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. It keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? I've no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. There's a prize worth taking. Good! Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell over soft minds. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy idea that you could snap at any moment and unseam them from prick to sternum. Fire what cannons you will, and land a few strikes if you must, but for God's sake don't sink her. It's no fun fishing cargo out of the sea. Although it can be done.
careful, Captain! His waters are closely watched by our enemies!
right. Tumble up. Do you have the news? Enemy cannon. Ah! Tango un buen dia, senor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you own. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, senor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English! L little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods. And we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? Uh, uh, please to repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hole and take everything that isn't nailed down. It's a shaky feeling sailing about with this much stolen cargo. Get used to it. We'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day. Let's ride this quarrel! Larbury, come in! Cast away! Think he's alive, sir? 